Hello again, everyone. Another message through Facebook. Hello, Ali. I just finished watching your video. I wanted to take a minute to thank you for taking the time in making these videos. I have been no contact with my narcissistic mother going on two years after suffering severe narcissistic abuse for almost 45 years. I am at a crossroad right now in trying to decide if the healing process might be easier. Should I relocate to a different state? Yes. If you if at all possible, yes. I ran into my narcissistic mother at my hair salon about a month ago and was completely off guard when I saw her. She gave me a dirty look as I proceeded to walk into the break room so I didn't have to look at her or hear her voice. I feel like after I saw her, it sent me back as far as healing. And let me tell you something. When, when you live around your narcissists and your abusers, when you try to go no contact, they will make it a point to be in the places you like to go. So if you like that hair salon, she's going to get her hair done. If you go someplace where you get your nails done, she's going to go there. If there's a certain restaurant you like, they're going to go there. This is why no contact for me, getting moving away somewhere far away, preferably to another state, is optimal because it takes away that, that, that opportunity for them because they're going to keep trying. Remember, the narcissist never gives up until they get their stated goal. You know, until they get what they want. That's why they are terminators. So the natural progression is to physically put themselves in places in public that you like to be and make you deal with them and to do exactly what, what you did to get you to run and hide in, in a room and to take away all your comfort zones and make your comfort zones a part of their life. The other thing I find myself doing is wondering if she'll stop by my house as she passes it three to four times a week. Yes, if she's already passing your house three to four times a week, it's only a matter of time before she makes an excuse to stop there. I guess in my mind, I ponder the chance that maybe she'll realize how hideous she was to me and that there is a part of her that misses me for me, not for the things I can do for her. Never going to happen never going to happen. She never loved you for you. So why would she start now? Because you won't talk to her. If she accepted you for you and loved you for who you were, you wouldn't be no contact with her to begin with. The reason you're no contact with her and the reason why you stay away from her because she's a selfish fucking bitch. You going no contact isn't going to magically make her care about you and love you and accept you. No. She might put on that act, but that act is only to gain what she truly wants, control over you. I know the chances of that happening are null and void, but there's always that hope. You can, you can hope, but hope's a dangerous word when dealing with narcissism. Hope is a dangerous, dangerous word when dealing with your narcissistic abuser. Unless you're hoping that they're going to drop dead. That's a good hope. But hoping that they'll change, hoping that, hoping that you know they'll love you or accept you or apologize is, is, a, is a false hope, is a false hope and it's detrimental. You need to accept who and what your narcissistic mother is or your narcissistic, narcissistic abusers are. Because if you're going to hold out hope for them to change, you're going to be sorely disappointed and you're only damaging yourself and you're only going to delay the inevitable and in getting sucked down that rabbit hole. Do you think it would benefit me from moving to another location? Obviously, obviously. If you're living in another state, it's awfully hard for her to just cruise by your house and show up at your, at your hair place or show up at the nail salon or wherever, that, wherever else you're going. Shop where you like to shop, get dinner where you like to get dinner, you know, show up at whatever events you like to have in public. This is what's going to happen. Holding out hope that she'll change and accept you is, is fruitless. The narcissist never changes. The narcissist doesn't even accept that there are problems. So how the hell are you going to expect them to change? It's not going to happen. As, um, as blunt as that is and is, you know, as depressing it may be, you're going to have to accept that your narcissist is going to be a narcissist for the rest of their life. And they have no, there is no hope of them changing. None.
So I hope that helped out. I'm sorry it's a little depressing, but that's just the reality of the situation. It's the situation that all of us deal with. All of us. Again, to everyone else, if you enjoyed this channel, please consider making a contribution to the GoFundMe link in the description box. And remember, if you do make a contribution and you want me to make a video, you go right to the top of the list and I'll immediately make a video for you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again shortly. Bye.